means immortal in Bengali and is so is Amartya Sen's contribution to global economy. The Indian scholar who was born 3 November in the year 1933 went on to become one of the greatest economists and academian in the world. The Nobel laureate was born on November 3 in the year 1933 in Manigans, now in Bangladesh. Interestingly, the economics genius was raised inside a university campus. His native place in Shantiniketan in Bairabham, Bengal, now West Bengal. It is said that Sen was named by Rabindranath Tagore. His mother, Amita Sen, was a writer who took part in the dance drama productions of Tagore. On her request, Tagore cherished Ten, the boy, the Bengal feminine of 1943, a man-made holocaust which took approximately 3 million lives, had influenced Young Sen deeply. Amartya Sen was diagnosed with oral cancer at the age of 18. High doses of radiation at a hospital in Kolkata saved his life. He received the Nobel Prize in Economics in the year 1998 for his contribution to welfare economics. According to Sen, even impoverished societies can improve the well-being of their least advantaged members. Sen joined Harvard University in USA. He has also worked on the United Nations Human Development Index that is used to assess a country's development. In order to promote gender equality, Amartya Sen is known to use mostly feminine pronouns while writing papers. He writes she and her a lot more often than he and him. He is also a self-proclaimed atheist. He chose to study philosophy than anything else when he was offered a prize fellowship in Trinity College. At Trinity, Sen studied works of prominent philosophers and economists as diverse as communist Karl Marx and moralist Adam Smith. Among literary scholars, Sen avidly followed the works of John Dryden, Andrew Marvel, Lord Byron, and George Bernard Shaw. Sen was appointed as the chairman of Nalanda Mentor Group. He also became the first chancellor but withdrew his candidature after a year. He was awarded the Bharat Ratna in the year 1999. He also has a honorary citizenship of Bangladesh at his theory of welfare economics helped the government to form a self-sufficient economy.